I've arrived and it is hot. That's it. Seb's five minutes. Um, it's more like 20. Still not here. Nightclub. Gotha nightclub. Who are they dropping off? <laughs> well, <laughs> Buster Rhymes just got out of the car. <laughs> Interesting five minutes, but I can see his car. And here he is. Seb is filming. <laughs> I'm filming. And here it is, the Megane GT. What a beautiful car. And we're both filming on the same camera as well. We've both got G7Xs. What's up? Funny five, funny five minutes. Yeah. Funny five minutes. Nice camera. Nice camera. Nice camera. How are you? Woo! Mate, I'm so sweaty. So sweaty. <laughs> Your first launch control. Let me see if this is going to work. Have you seen the road that we're going on? Yeah, no, it's amazing. It's perfect. Perfect for a launch? Ah, okay. You need this. Whoa! <laughs> oh, gearbox! Oh! <laughs> Seb getting the, uh, the weights on the go already. It's actually, I don't know what. You, is this full of bricks? Yeah. I bought a really nice plant pot at like, Luton Airport and ah, shoved fantastic. it in there. I thought I'd give it as a gift to your mum. Silla! I forgot that it was left hand drive. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, that is so cool in the sun. into Monaco. We are. I've got Seb's camera. We got Drake on. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm holding on for dear life. <laughs> I'm not sure that there is a cooler place to be in the summer than down here. It is awesome and there's just a different atmosphere compared to earlier on in the year or later on in the year where everyone's just super chilled, boats coming in and out. And yeah, this is this is pretty epic. And we parked Seb's car up pretty close to the uh, water. Seb. What would happen if we took this off? I don't think we could. We wouldn't have the strength to. I reckon you could. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is attached to this. That is the massive road. <laughs> look at that. You know when that was built, that was the biggest privately owned boat in the world. Really? Yeah, see, look at like, the diving board thing on the side of it. Oh yeah. Walk the plank. Oh, off they go. Off go the police. That is so big when you think about it. I mean, oh no. Oh, oh. It's actually kicking off. Who's he stopping? No one. All right, so just get out of the way. Right, oh. well, uh, a few hours were skipped in the afternoon. Basically, we both had a bit of an afternoon power nap. The sun, the early start, um, they both took their toll <laughs> on both me and Seb. Seb had to wake up about 4am to take his sister to Nice Airport, come back here, fall asleep for a little bit and then head back to Nice Airport to collect me at about 10 o'clock. Whereas I just woke up at 4am and had the flight to deal with. So, today, I mean this evening, now, the light, uh, we're slowly losing the light. We're going to take the Lotus to Cannes. I've never been to Cannes, so I'm very, very excited about that. But not only that, Cannes in August is one of the best places to see supercars. So we're going to go and check out what is going on and hopefully catch this exclusive Bugatti Chiron that is the first customer delivery. The owner has also picked up and bought the Bugatti uh, Grand Turismo Vision, is that what it's called? Yeah, he's, he's doing pretty well for himself. So yeah, he's bought both of those cars, which is pretty insane, but the Vision obviously is not road legal. So he's shipped his Chiron to Cannes. So we are gonna head down there now in the Lotus and try and find it. Yeah, and then right here. Here we are, we're in 
Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never yeah. been here before. And then right. I've never really been here. And Seb's never taken his Lotus here, so this is the first for both of us. And we're now heading oh, down. Oh, I recognize this from videos. The most famous road, Boulevard de la Croisette. Croisette. Yes. And apparently, this is where the Bugatti Chiron is. I'm we are so on the hunt. damn excited. Look how beautiful this place is. Is it the Chiron that was at Geneva? I don't know. Holy shit. <laughs> it's literally like Hurricane Spider, Hurricane 488 F12. There's an Aventador there as well. Love the hurricane spider. You can't see me, I am a silhouette, but we have uh, yeah, basically parked up because there are some pretty crazy cars parked up at this hotel. Down there is even better. I can see a true blood AMG. That is actually hilarious. The rivals, the V12 rivals. 458 Spider. That is a lovely Aventador Roadster. But, for some reason, I'm drawn to this car. This is stunning. I prefer the Hurricane Spider to the Hurricane Coupe. Toma is here. How are you doing? Toma from World Supercars. Come on, show us, show us a cheer on. Let's oh, go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, to Toma go. has based himself out here. How long have you been in Cannes? Uh, this year or? Yeah, this year. Uh, since uh, 10th of July. Oh, okay, so you've been here a while. So yeah. you've seen the cars arrive, yeah. and by far the Chiron is the one that gets the most attention. Uh, yeah. Alors là on arrive devant une nouvelle 908 918. Oh, this was this was in London, like. Really? Yeah. Nice. Two days ago. This is where it gets a little bit hectic here. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. That is a cool. That's a Brabus 4x4. Yeah, it's an awesome color. That looks sick. Oh, this is your oh, Brabus Jelly. Yes. Aventador. I just want a few new reactions. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, the Chiron is here. This was worth the trip. This was worth it. Yeah. Yeah. They got security and everything. Right, we'll come back to that in a bit. There's also another Aventador down here. I think, ah, oh, the Range Rover is blocking it. But anyway, oh no, it's there. Here, Aventador SV. What a beast. I think she heard me. 918, Matt White Hurricane, Brabus GLE Coupe, Aventador with a nose lift up, G-Wagon convertible, Bugatti Chiron featuring four bodyguards. Right, Good okay, going. so now we're headed off to, what's it called again? Je... Try, try, try it. Juan, oh, le, le, Juan, le pain. Juan, le pain. Yeah. yeah. That's where we're going. We're practicing you up for your McDonald's roulette. Yeah, McDonald's roulette in French. That is going to come soon. Uh, everyone's been told to run. You know what's going on? No, we don't know. Go, 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 go. What is he saying? We have no idea, but just go. This is terrifying. Everyone's <laughs> I'm actually, yeah, scared. This is actually scary. No one knows what's happening. We've just turned around to drive the other way, but we're stuck in traffic now. 
and they're just saying run 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 turn around run so we're just going but this is scary Oh fuck. What? They said I don't know if people were shooting. What? Thomas is calling. I don't really know what I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. Literally saw people running. Someone's dumped their car here and run. Yeah. Like people running so back the other way. There? I don't know, like everyone's just walking the other way. No one's running anymore, but like I did, I just, I just got a voice note as well from someone that's down the road saying that there's like terror attack, a terror attack potentially. My heart is racing, man. Me too. This is terrifying. Everyone's on their balcony. I'm wondering if we dump the car in one of these. <sighs> I or don't if know. It's quicker to go in the car. I don't know. Look, this Audi's like going on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Thomas calling me. Hello, Thomas. We've basically um, got the Sanab on to head back to Seb's. I don't know what you can hear of this. And uh, it was. Uh, yeah, a weird, weird sensation of something that I didn't particularly want to film. I felt like I kind of needed to carry on because it's part of the day. Um, but fingers crossed, anyone that was at Juan Le Pan is safe. Uh, but yeah, we still don't know what yeah, happened. We literally have no idea. I've got a couple of voice notes from people that were there saying that there was like um, potentially an explosion or something, but that they don't really know what's going on. But there was police and ambulance going. Um, so we're just trying to keep up to date with Twitter and, and see if anyone knows anything. But just get back home, just get back, back to home. safety. Yeah, not how I wanted to uh, spend my first night to be honest, but yeah. So yesterday you may have been able to guess that my camera ran out of battery as we arrived back into Monaco and thankfully having seen reports over the duration of last night and this morning the police deny any reports of gunfire apparently it was either a firecracker that was thrown out of a car uh, spreading panic and obviously a stampede they have confirmed that there was a stampede and apparently like 40 people got injured last night just from running away from whatever was thrown out of a car which is just insane it was a really really scary moment to actually see and maybe you'll see that there's actual fear and panic in my face and Seb's face and in our voices as well but to see it in other people it was a, a really really scary experience so I think we're gonna stay well clear of that for the duration of the rest of the trip and to be honest what a whirlwind vlog I mean it was a pretty seamless journey over it was an early start um, pretty fun day down in Monaco checking out some of the yachts and going down in the Lotus and then headed into Cannes and seeing the Bugatti Chiron and then it all just went downhill pretty quickly after that but hopefully you've enjoyed this video I'm gonna basically carry on vlogging today uh, which will go live tomorrow I'm also gonna be editing the video blah 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 um, of course <laughs> so I think what is left for me to say is thank you for watching thank you for tuning in on the first episode of my Monaco adventure for the rest of the week I'm looking forward to what is to come there is gonna be some really fun videos so make sure that you subscribed if you haven't already to supercars of London and me and Seb we have got some pretty fun video plans so definitely stay tuned for that thank you for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow all right.